It's great to be a bulldog. He is a visionary leader. He is a man of integrity. Dub has a unique way of investing in people. He has open ears and very willing to listen to the faculty's needs and desires. After every Board of Trustee meeting, he has an all-campus, all-employee meeting where he debriefs us. The profile of ETBU has risen. Dr. Oliver has encouraged strategic investments to make that happen. Very committed to faculty development, uh, increased the funds that are available for faculty development. I watch him really listening to what the faculty issues are. We always get the sense that he's walking alongside of us and not just in his office making decisions without us in mind. I think you'll find somebody who understands the needs of faculty, who wants to share governance with faculty, and who wants to help faculty achieve the goals and the aspirations that they have. Genuine. Dr. Dub is humble. Impactful. The one word I think best describes him is personable. Intelligent. Dr. Dub is warm. Relational. I think he really likes to be able to go up to somebody and know their name right off the bat. The next time he sees you, he's like, hey, Natalie, and every single thing that you told him, he'll remember you. You cannot walk across campus and carry on a conversation with Dub because he is going to speak to every student. He's going to love on them uh, in the way that he speaks to them, in the way that he greets them. Him and his wife both came out and, and watched me preach a sermon and met everyone at my church, and he made the 45-minute drive there and 45-minute drive back just to show his support for me. Dr. Dub auditioned for Pride and Prejudice in the fall. He looks at me and goes, I'm gonna audition. And I thought he was joking. And uh, it was just cool to see that our president was involved. I looked at him and I said, okay, I need to know that I can direct you, that I can say that a moment isn't working or that this needs to change and that's gonna be okay. And he was like, absolutely, I totally, I want you to do your job and I want you to do it well. We had our cast party at the president's house. So it was really cool to be able to experience and get to see, you know, who the president is on a personal level. When you talk about Dr. Dub, you have to talk about Miss Susie too, because they, they are a great team together. She's very caring. She's like uh, the mom of all the students who don't have moms nearby. I always just walk into her office. Um, I mean, we, we talk all the time. She is always a go-getter, always by Dub's side, and has been wonderful helping me in children's ministry. They decided to repaint the auditorium, and Dub did all of the detail work um, right behind the stage. I have noticed that the best leaders over time lead by example. Whenever I've been out of the pulpit, he's been the guy that I call first. I love to hear Dub preach. Uh, Dub is a great storyteller but in every story, the gospel is always presented. Our folks love him. They love the way that he presents God's word passionately. Um, our folks love the things that Dub stands for as a, as a follower of Christ. Whenever you see Dub coming, you know that uh, you've got a, a man who is, is, is Christ-filled and his heart is set on, on, on the Lord. The moment that Dub and Susie came to town, it, they were like old friends. They were immediately um, participating and being a part of our community. I'd never heard of a man of his stature uh, volunteering for such a hard job. Dub and Susie Oliver are not concentrating on building resumes. No, they roll up their sleeves uh, they immerse themselves in the work within the community. One of the key reasons that we decided to make that gift with our partners was Dub Oliver. The things that he's been able to accomplish in a short while uh, shows me that he knows how to raise money and those kinds of things. If you were on this campus four years ago, it did not look like this. That man does a lot. Oh, I think he's got a twin. <laughs> if there's such a thing as a rising star in presidentships, it would be Dub Oliver. They will be uh, 
They'll be a great, great couple and, and great assets to, uh, to Union and, and, and to the city of Jackson. Wherever he goes, it'll be a blessing. Y'all are just really lucky to have Fez Susie and Dr. Deb. I, I would follow him if I could. <laughs> They're beloved here and we wish them the best in their new home in Jackson, Tennessee.